Hey, what's up everyone? It's your girl Brain Shanae and today is the 24th day of Vlogmas. So first I would like to say happy Christmas Eve. I can't believe it's already December 24th and of course tomorrow is Christmas. So today what I'll be doing is a unboxing and it's going to be for Fairy Loot. So if you want to know what's inside of this box, please stay tuned. I am back and if you're new to my channel welcome so like I said I'll be unboxing this fairy loop box um so first off this is my monthly book box description that I pretty much do every single month and it renews every single month um so I don't remember what theme this is for December um but I'm sure we'll find out with the spoiler card so as you can see on the box it says my books my treasure and then also on the back it just says fairyloot.com so let's go ahead and get started and open the box so when I open it, this is what it looks like with the design. And it says, those who don't believe in magic will never find it by Ronald Dahl. So we have that. And as I open it completely, this is what it looks like. So right here is the print of uh, pretty much the art print of the theme. And the theme for this month for December is called Thick as Thieves. So this will also be the spoiler card, which will represent all the items within the within the box and who they were created by, which I will reference and let you know who created this great these great items in the box. So the first item I see in this box is a beanie. And right off the bat, it looks like it's mostly from The Hobbit because we I see the dragon. And I also see Bilbo, uh, Bilbo Baggins' door right here. So this is what I'm guessing where it's from. Of course, this is a Fairy Loot exclusive. And it says Mountain Dragon Beanie. Okay, so let's see who created this beanie. So this is gorgeous. And I might just wear it the entire time as I'm doing this video. Let's see. Ooh, it fits beautifully. I like this and it's nice and warm. I like this a lot. Okay, so for the beanie, it says the first item in this box is a beautiful beanie inspired by The Hobbits by J.R.R. Tolkien, which will keep you warm throughout the winter. Bilbo and his crew dwarves are definitely thick as thieves. The beanie features artwork by um, Jezok and has many elements that link to the story. All right, so we got this. And like I said, I'll probably just keep this on for the remainder of the of the video because it's really cute. And I like it and it's very warm. And of course, y'all probably don't know in Columbus, Ohio, right now there is a snowstorm and it's so freaking cold. It's ridiculous. Um, but let's move on to the next item. So for the next item, I see a little pouch right here. So let me open this up and see what is inside of it. So let's see. Oh, so it's like a, it's a sword, maybe like an envelope, envelope or envelope opener. This is what it looks like, but here's the sword itself. If you want to get a little closer look at it with the markings right here. So here is a sword. Now let me see what this is by. I think this is like a letter opener. So let's see. So it says, never wear, worry about opening your letters again now that you have a, Dem a Demaris sword letter opener inspired by Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Mass and brought to you by Fairy Loop. It even has all of the weird marks. How awesome is that? Okay, so I haven't read any <laughs> Throne of Glass. I haven't read it, the series at all. I actually don't plan on doing that, on doing so, but I mean, it's pretty cool. So I like this a little uh, letter opener. That's awesome. So very convenient. So I have this sword, which is very cute. And it's in, uh, like it's built a great quality, you know, like it really it isn't cheap. It really is good quality. So we have this. So I'm going to put this back in the pouch. The next item in this box, it looks like a little notepad. And of course, this is something from uh, Children of Blood and Bone um, by Tommy Ediemi. So we have this. I love the little prints, of course. This is really beautiful. This is gorgeous. So let's see who created this right here. So for the notepad, it says, don't forget any of your tasks with this handy notepad featuring artwork by Unicify Art, which is inspired by Children of Blood and Bone by Tommy Adeyemi. So yes, so this is gorgeous. I do love this. Of course, this is the character Zaylee uh, from the book. So I do like this notepad and I do plan on using it. Next, we have, it looks like a box and it has like three swords on it. This is what it looks like, the box. And it says, let's see, it says Secret Book Volume 5. So let's see what this secret book looks like or what it is. I like the packaging, it's really cute. So let me see if I can open this. <laughs> 
All right, got it out of there. So this is what it looks like. This is the secret book. And it says volume five, I believe, on there. Hopefully I I'm said that correctly. And this is what it looks like on the inside. So it says, hmm, it has different quotes from different books. So the first one says, when you, when you are who they expect you to be, they never look too closely. If you're furious, let it be fuel. And that was by Roshani, Roshani Skoski, the, the Gilded Wolves. Um, this one says, you have nice manners for a thief and a liar, said the dragon. And that was said by J.R. Tolkien for The Hobbit or There and Back Again. Uh, so there's different quotes that are in this uh, that are in this little secret book. Another one says, a dream dirty and bruised is better than no dream at all. And that was said by Lainey Taylor, Days of Blood and Starlight, which I'm do looking for, I am looking forward to reading those books. Um, and then the next one in the inside, which I do love the designs and everything that represents the books uh, for the quotes. Uh, this one says, but then liars do make the best magicians and he happened to be exceptional. And that was said uh, by Lisa, um, Lisa Maxwell, the last magician. The next one says, some people steal to stay alive and some steal to feel alive. Simple as that. And that was said by V.E. Swab, a doctor, a doctor shade of magic. And then the last one, it says, there's no freedom quite like the freedom of being constantly underestimated. And that was said by Scott Lynch, The Lies of Locke Lamar, Lamora. So this is the secret book. So this is pretty cool. I do like this. So let's see who created this for the secret book. So for this one, it says we're including the four. Okay, so this is four, not five. <laughs> so we're, the Roman numeral is five or four, not five. So I do apologize about that. Um, but it says um, we're including the fourth and last secret book designed by uh, Novorotel in this box. It's perfect for storing all of your trinkets and treasures. And it's inspired by a bunch of different fandoms with great friendships. Can you spot any of your favorites inside? So pretty much the only, I haven't read any of these books that are, well, except for The Gilded Wolves, I have read that, but I haven't read anything else. But I do plan on reading The Days of Blood and Starlight by Lady Taylor. Um, so yeah. But yeah, this is pretty neat and I do like this. I do have a lot of trinkets, so now I have somewhere to put them. So we got this item, which I really do love. Uh, the next item I see, it looks like a little art print. This is what it looks like. I do not know who these people are. I don't know what it is. So we're definitely going to have to see what it says on the spoiler card for the art print. So it says, one of our favorite friendship groups is the crew from The Raven Cycle by Maggie uh, Stivader. Um, it says, the magical art print is illustrated by Saint, Saint, Saint Dre. Okay, so I haven't read that book, so that's probably why I did not rec recognize these characters. But I do love the art print. It's very cute and it's very unique. So we have the art print. And then the next thing I see... It's a calendar. It's a 2021 calendar featuring artwork by Dominique Wetson. So we have this. So as I open it, this is the artwork. I'm not sure. Camp Half Blood. So I'm guessing this is the Percy Jackson series right here for January. Also right here, February. Um, March. I'm not sure who this is. So it has a lot of cool art prints within this book. It looks like she's Faye. So I do like the art prints. They're very colorful. They're different. I really want to know who these characters are. Like seriously. Maybe it'll say in the spoiler card. But here's another art print of June. This one is July. This one is, oh, this one is August. September. This is October. November. Hmm, this is really neat. And December. So this is pretty neat. This looks like maybe from Embers in the Ashes series, possibly. Maybe this is Elias and this is Laya, maybe. I'm just guessing. So yeah, so that is the calendar. Let me see what else, if they have any details of what the art prints are. So let's see what this says for the calendar. So it says, keep to keep track of all of your plans in 2021, we have included a gorgeous calendar featuring artwork by Dominique Wetson. The artwork is inspired by Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Mass. A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Swab, The Gilded Wolves by Roshani Shosky, Scythe by Neil Schusterman, Percy Jackson Series by uh, Rick Riordan, and Dance of, Thieves by, Dance of Thieves by Mary E. Pearson. So I was wrong about the last two, but I do like the, like the artwork. It's very beautiful and very vibrant with many colors, so I really do like this. So 
I'm so happy that I have this as a calendar. So now I just have to find somewhere to put it. Uh, the next items I see is tarot cards, which come in each box each month. And it's from a Queen of Swords and King of Swords. So we got these two tarot cards right here. And there, this is what it looks like on the back of each card. So we have these. So like, I haven't read anything about these. So I do like them. They look very, like you can use them as um, bookmarks too, which I really do like these little tarot cards that come in the box each month. Uh, but for the tarot cards, it says this month's featured tarot cards are the Queen and Queen of Swords. They are designed by the very talented Arts Arts 28 and are inspired by the by House of Earth and Blood by Sarah J. Mass, which I do own, but I haven't read yet. So looking forward to reading that in the year of 2021. And last but not least, the last item is the book and it comes in this packaging with the fairy and then on the back it says happy reading. So as I open it, let's see what it is. Hmm. And it does come with a, a note from the author. So this is the little print and this is the note from the author. But the book itself is called Master of One. I haven't really heard anything about this book. It says Six Fae Relics, One Daring Thief, The Score of a Lifetime by Jada Jones and Danny Bennett. Hmm, this looks really intriguing. And also the good thing, also I would like to say if you are haven't seen anything as far as fairy loot unboxings they do have exclusive um exclusive covers as well as um they are signed by the author so here is the book plate as well oh but look at those in those are beautiful those in pages i do love those a lot um but also it has the fairy scoop says has thick of sieves with it i will definitely get to once i share you with this uh, show you this book so this is what it looks like and on the back it says welcome to the queen city a terrible place to live an excellent place to die so that says that on the back and then look at the sprayed edges it's red which that is so gorgeous it's like a glittery red which has it which brings it adds an extra touch to it I feel so I do like the little glitter that they do have that they have added to the book um but as you as I take off the dust jacket this is what it looks like. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. It's like some type of plant. And then here is the spine. And then also has a, a reversible dust jacket. So this is also what it looks like if you reverse the dust jacket. So that's pretty cool. I do like this a lot. That's really neat. It's like a, a giant salamander or lizard. So that's pretty neat. So we have that. And then once I put this back, I'm gonna read the synopsis so we can, we, we all can figure out what this book is about because this is it looks very intriguing by the way it looks so it says life in the queen city isn't easy especially for a two-bit thief like rags when his latest score goes sideways he's nabbed by royal sorcerer maureen the last who forces him to steal the six pieces of an immeasurably powerful ancient fey relic Rags is still determined to somehow get away unscathed until he discovers that the relics Maureen is after are actually people. A distractingly handsome fey prince who has been asleep for centuries, a queen's guard deserter with more honor than common sense, a daughter of a disgraced noble family who hits first and asks questions later, a deceptively sweet natured prince, a member of the underground resistance, neither trusting nor trustworthy, and him, Rags. There's no way they can let Maureen enact his dark plans, but six misfits against an exceptionally wicked enemy doesn't make for generous gods. Luckily, Rags is not generous. He's smart and he has a lot, or he has a plan that just might work. So this sounds very interesting. I'm doing look forward to reading this. Oh, and it has like a little map inside of the world. So that's pretty neat to have like a map to have a visual of what the world looks like so you can picture it in your head and have a better, uh, like I said, visual. So this sounds very interesting. Um, and then, like I said, this is a, the note from the author, which I do try to read. I do try to read my very best. It's just really hard for me to read this one. Just, yeah, I can't read it. I'm sorry, but like the, like literally, can you read that yourself? Like I tried, but I do like the art print is very beautiful. Um, but I will keep this, um, this note as well as this art print with the book. So that way I just have something to reference it by. Um, but yeah, so I got this book master of one, which I never heard of, heard of, but it sounds really exciting, especially dealing with Faye. So I'm definitely looking forward to reading this. Um, but it also says here, 
Our featured book of the month is Master of One by Jada Jones and Danielle Bennett. It is filled with fae, sinister sor sorcery, and gallows humor. This ragtag here crew of reluctant heroes has to take on a world-ending fae prophecy and a malicious world plot. This very loose exclusive edition is signed by both authors, has a foil design on the hardcover, um, shimmery sprayed edges, and artwork on the reverse of the dust jacket by Bloody Damnit. It also comes with an author letter featuring artwork by Bloody Damnit. So yeah, so we have this beautiful artwork with the note, the author's note, and then we have this gorgeous book with these shimmery um, painted edges, sprayed edges. So we got that. And then last but not least, I wanted to share with you the fairy scoop of Thickest Thieves. And this is pretty much going to be talking about more about the author, um, about the book itself. Um, so it gives us questions about the author interview. Um, it says what was included with the book. So it says shimmery sprayed edges signed by the authors, foil emb uh, embossing on hardcover and artwork on reverse dust jacket. Um, it also has the read along. So it says this read along will start on February 8th of 2021 and more details along with the exact reading schedule will be published. So we have that. And then it also talks about the next month's theme. So for next month, which is January, it says Greek mythology. So it says, we are so excited to reveal the January theme for our monthly box and it is Greek mythology. Fascinating tales told over thousands of years filled with betrayal, power, romance, and magic, inspiring millions of people around the world. Gods and goddesses with too much power wreaking havoc on earth, making very human mistakes. The allure of Greek mythology is undeniable, and this entire theme is inspired by it. You can expect items um, inspired by Greek gods and goddesses, Circe, Percy Jackson, Lovely War, and our featured book of the month. We're thrilled to reveal that this box will have a stunning multicolored enamel metal bookmark. Uh, seriously, it's jaw dropping by uh, Mona, Mona Limart, Lo, uh, Mona Limart, and a beautiful book sleeve by Chad, Chatty Nora. Our featured book of the month is a very highly anticipated release by a best selling author, and we think it is one of our most spectacular editions to date. This contemporary fantasy is inspired by Greek mythology and is set in the modern world. It is a high octane tale of power destiny, love, and redemption. This Fairy Loot exclusive edition will have an exclusive cover, sprayed and stencil edges, artwork on the reverse of the dust jacket, foil embossing on the front and back of the case, custom end papers, and will have a printed signature. If you have any active subscriptions, you can sit back and relax as you will automatically get this box. So that's really cute. And then it has, of course, the Instagram uh, December box photo challenge. So we have that. But that is it, you guys. That is my little unboxing on this glorious day, Christmas Eve. I really hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> if you did, please give me a thumbs up. Also, hit that subscribe button and that bell to be notified when I upload more videos in the future. But thank you so much for watching, you guys. And please stay healthy and stay safe. And also, have a Merry Christmas. See ya.